Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually gonna go ahead and update you guys on my debt. Uh, March is pretty slow month for me as in paying off debt. And as you guys know, a lot of us have just concentrated on like saving money or hoarding money. Um, so today I'm just gonna go ahead and just update you on what I actually did pay off for the month of March and see what my plan for April will be. If you guys haven't seen my April budget, I'll link it up in a card right above over here. You guys can check that out. But for now, let's just go ahead and get, um, started with how much debt I actually have paid off and today I will be using my debt tracker and some washi and some bottom washi just so I can make it a little nicer to look at every single day you know um, so if you guys are interested in any of my stickers my sticker shop is at Erica Life Vlogs on Etsy and soon to be Shopify which I'm so excited about um, so anywho um, this is an Erin Condren 7x9 monthly deluxe planner. I think you can get these on sale currently on the Erin Condren website. I do have affiliate links down below that give you $10 off your first purchase. So that's always something um, you can guys get a deal out of. So let's get started right into this um, debt layout. So I'm going to go ahead and use my colorful washi for April. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in just like that. So I got my border up and then let me go ahead and lay down my debt tracker. If you guys don't know and you guys are new to my channel, um, I track my debt. And what this does is it lets me know each month how much debt I have left over and how much I paid off month to month. So I always compare it to the previous month. So like that, I'm always in the know of how what my numbers look like, how much I'm actually tackling. So it gives you a perspective of how much... Um, progress you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. Just like that. And here I just like to um, lay out my debt smallest to largest because I do the Dave Ramsey baby step plan which is paying off my smallest debt to my largest and snowball that amount um, over and over again until you hit your last debt and you attack it as much as you can. So for my first debt, um, I am currently only working with um, student loans and a personal loan. Um, so what I did starting, I don't know if it was in February or March, I started laying down my student loans one by one instead of having it in one big student loan uh, number. So that's what exactly what I'm going to do today. I do have my numbers on the side, so hopefully I can lay them all out for you. So the first one is... Student loan one. Actually, student loan number two. And this balance is eight hundred thirty five and fifty cents. Next off is student loan three. And this one is nine hundred eighty eight and forty five cents. My next biggest loan is student loan number six. And this one is at one thousand forty two and seven cents. Next off, I have my student loan number one. This is the first loan I ever took out. And this one is currently sitting at 2,436 and 93 cents. And last but not least, I do have my student loan. Number five. And this one is at $3,376.88. Now, if you're seeing something, you're or you're not seeing something as student loan number four, and that's because I have successfully paid that off in March. Uh, my goal for March was to pay off student number four and number two. 
Um, but with this whole pandemic, I of course took the conservative route and only paid off the, like the very tiniest um, loan that I had. So that one got paid off, which I was super happy about. And these are due on a lump sum on um, the 25th of every March of March, <laughs> every 25th of the month. So um, for this one, they're all due on the 25th of April and the minimum payment for all of them is one total of 140. So that is what I pay for all of these. So this is just one big payment for all of them. And after this, I do have one more debt and that is my credit union. This is a personal loan that I took out to pay off PayPal. If you guys were with me way back in the days, you guys um, would know that I had a whole lot of problems with PayPal. My interest rate kept changing every month along with my uh, minimum payment that I could just not afford anymore because each month was more or there were so many fees on top of fees that I decided to take out a personal loan and pay off PayPal and just have a personal loan to pay off. And that has been the best, you know, um, route, for, route for me when it comes to my personal loan and PayPal. And I do not regret it one bit. I think this is destined to be paid off in two years, I believe, or three, I'm not sure. Um, so this does have, have a deadline. If I keep going at the rate that I am, it's going to get paid off the way we set it up with my credit union. But that balance is $3,563.00. And three cents. Probably next month, this these two might flip over. Maybe my student loan number five might be my greatest debt from all of them. But for now, um, that's how they are in route right now. And this one's always due on the eighth of every month, with a minimum payment of two seventy four. And this is a fixed um, minimum, so my loan can be paid off in that um, time and manner. So I'm really happy about that. I feel like no matter what I do, I feel like I always see the end for my personal loan. Even if I'm attacking my student loans at the moment, I feel like my credit union um, personal loan is like decreasing, like there's no tomorrow. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right, so now let's add up all of my debt so we can find out how much debt I have left over to pay. So 835.50 is 988.45 plus 1042.07 plus 2436.93 plus 3376.00. Plus 35.63.03. I have a total debt of $12,242.86, which is so amazing coming from a person who was almost $35,000 in debt, which is kind of insane. Uh, my minimum due payment, I don't think it has ever changed because these are just solid numbers from now on. So 140 plus 274. I do have a pay minimum payment every month towards my debt of $414. That's just something I have to put on the side to pay all of this off. But if I go back to March and I look at my debt numbers, I was at $12,752 and 18 cents and I kind of brought it down significantly which is great so 12 242 and 86 cents I paid off a total of five hundred and nine dollars and thirty two cents in one month so four hundred and fourteen of that was just on minimum payments so believe it or not it looks like I only paid ninety five dollars and thirty two cents in debt but this does not include all the interest that had accumulated through this whole time. My minimum extra debt payment that I did was $130 um, last month. So from 130 to 
almost $35 was consumed in pure interest, but it did pay off one of my student loans, which was a goal that I had. And I am so happy that I managed to do that. <sighs> like, I cannot wait to hit 10,000 and hopefully um, April is gonna be a better month. I really hope to get student loan number two out of the way. I know that they said that student loan interest was gonna be halted or something which is my like go time to pay these down because if they're not accumulating interest and i'm paying them off or paying them down these numbers will go down quickly and i cannot be more excited about that so yeah this has been my debt i am currently twelve thousand two hundred and forty two dollars and eighty six dollars in debt with a 414 minimum payment every month until this is all gone and i'm excited i'm excited for april i feel like i needed a, a new start a fresh start and a new motivation um knowing that my job is secure and that i don't have to worry much about it does give me hope so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it see you in my next video bye you guys